Hi, thanks for joining me today. We are going to focus on our core today. So core muscles are not just abdominal muscles. It's the muscles, the front of the body, the back of the body, muscles that wrap around the sides of the body. Basically, if you remove legs, arms, head, your core is what's left. So we're gonna do a little work today on some simple core moves. And yes, we're gonna do just a couple plank poses, but very uh, mindfully. So come to a mountain pose. You're gonna do a quick little warm up. So find your grounded foundation. Think of lifting the toes, spread the toes, place the toes down on the mat. Think of lifting the inner arch of the foot and the kneecaps. Think of the sternum lifting, feel energy through the crown of the head, arms down by your side. Think of the energy going down the back of the body, the shoulder blades sliding down the back, the tailbone lengthening. Think of energy going down through the heels. So even in this simple pose, we can engage the muscles in the body, we can think of drawing the lowest ribs towards the hips, we're engaging those muscles in the front of the body. And again, we can think of how the shoulder blades, think of the one shoulder blade sliding diagonally to one, the opposite hip, and same thing for the other shoulder blade to the opposite, its opposite hip. So a couple breaths here, just finding your mountain pose, inhaling and exhaling. And then as you take your next inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. Fingertips extend up, shoulders are comfortably relaxed. Thanks here also, arms extend up. Think of drawing those lowest ribs towards the hips so we're not letting the ribs jut and flare forward. Inhaling and exhaling. If you'd like, you can interlace the fingers, press up through the palms and think of pressing down through the feet, pressing up through the palms. Again, think of all of those core muscles, you know, abdominal muscles, back muscles, muscles around the sides of the torso. And as you breathe, just think of all of those muscles being engaged. Inhaling and exhaling. And then release the hands, float the arms all the way back down. And then this time, inhale again, arms float all the way up and overhead. Take hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Nice deep inhale, reach up and over to your left. So nice crescent moon here. Think of that nice opening stretch through the side seam of the body. Still think of energy in the legs. Think, still think of those lowest ribs drawing towards the hips. So we're engaging and shortening the muscles on the left side of the body, lengthening the muscles on the right side of the body. And then inhale, come all the way back up and then take hold of the left wrist with the right hand, reach up and over to your right. Inhale and exhale, again, feeling that nice opening and stretch through the side of the body. Got another breath, inhale and exhale, and then inhale again, come all the way back up, arms again, extend up. And then this time we're gonna come into a chair pose. So send the knees out over the toes, sit bones out behind you. Arms can be wherever it's comfortable, up alongside the ears is fine, shoulder height is also fine, hands to the hips. But again, we think of drawing those lowest ribs towards the hips, finding a neutral position in the back of the body so we're not overarching the back. We're thinking of lengthening the tailbone, drawing those lowest ribs in, arms out. Again, wherever is comfortable for you. Inhale and exhale. Good, another breath, inhale and exhale. Then we're gonna take this pose, working on those muscles that wrap around the sides of the body into a twist. So bring your left hand to your sacrum, fingertips point towards the tailbone, draw that right shoulder back. Bring your left hand to the outside of the right knee, palm facing out, and then using those internal and external oblique muscles and that transverse abdominal muscle below the belly button, twist your torso to the left. Your right knee may track a little in front of the left, that's okay. Make sure it doesn't wing over towards the left knee or out to the side. So again, tracking a little forward is fine, but we wanna keep that heel and knee in alignment front to back. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale and exhale. And then slowly untwist, come back to center, bring the palms together, bring the arms all the way up and overhead, come to that extended mountain pose once again. And then exhale, bring the hands to the heart and then release the arms down by your side. Inhale the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, send the knees out over the toes, sit bones behind you, take that chair pose. Inhale and exhale. And again, whatever shoulder and arm position feels best for your shoulders. 
inhaling and exhaling. Again, really think of drawing those lowest ribs towards the hips, not just letting the body just hang here. So engage that core, and then bring the right hand to the sacrum, left arm to the outside, left back of that left hand, outside of the right knee, and then using those core muscles to twist your torso to the right. Couple breaths. Inhale and exhale. Again, making sure those knees are tracking right towards those second and third baby toes, core engaged. And then again, come back to center, palms together, shoot the arms forward, come all the way up. Inhaling and exhaling, and then bring the palms down to the heart, bend the knees, fold all the way down. Take a standing forward bend, let your knees bend, just let the crown of the head dangle down for a moment, a little stretch in the back of the body. You can take hold of opposite elbows if you'd like. Inhale and exhale. And when releasing the hands, bring the hands to the mat. We're going to step back to the downward facing dog, right leg and left leg step back. So look towards the hands, hands or shoulders distance apart, feet hip distance apart. Let the knees bend, find that nice length in your spine. Take a few breaths, inhale and exhale. If you like, you can pedal through the feet here a little bit, but even in this position, so think of drawing those lowest ribs towards the hips, so we're not just letting our core muscles just dump down, so we're still thinking of that alignment. And then very gently release the knees down to the mat and come to a table pose. So bring your wrist right underneath your shoulders, lengthen through the crown of the head. Then we're going to extend the right leg back, press through the heel, and then bring the right, lead, right knee down to the mat. And then we're going to extend the left leg back, press through the heel, and then bring the left knee down to the mat. So this basically is a little half push-up position here. Inhale and exhale. And then if you'd like, you're still, st still thinking of drawing those lowest strips towards the hips. We're thinking of pressing into the palms so we're not letting the, the body sag. We're not letting the belly and the hips sag. And then if you'd like, for a full plank, you can lift those knees up once again, lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale and exhale. So think of that mountain pose that we found that we had earlier. So we're lengthening through the crown of the head. We're pressing down through the heels. We're lifting the kneecaps up. We're lifting the sternum up between the shoulder blades. We're drawing the lower belly in and up, lengthening through the crown of the head. And we're breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. And then sending the sit bones up and back. Come to your downward facing dog once again. Inhale and exhale and then release the knees back down to the mat and curl the toes come back to a child pose hips towards the heels the forehead towards the mat you can stack your hands up and let your forehead rest on your hands or you can if you have a block or a stack of books or even a firm cushion you can let your head rest there you can bring your hands back beside the feet if you'd like a little release for the wrist and take a breath inhale and exhale. And then bringing the arms back in front, we're going to come on to all fours once again, but this time we're going to bring the elbows down to the mat. So make sure you're in a position where you can extend those legs back because we're going to do an elbow plank pose. So looking at where your hands are, bring your elbow down to where your hands are. The forearms should be parallel. We're pressing into the fingertips. Knees underneath the hips, adjust if needed, lengthening through the crown of the head. So option here, you can keep the forearms parallel, or if you need a little bit more support in the shoulders, you can interlace the fingers. So extend the right leg back and the left leg back. Come to that elbow plank pose. You can always bring your knees down to the mat, as we did earlier, if you need a little bit more support. But make sure we're lifting up out of the front of the body. We're not sagging down into the shoulders. We're not letting the hips sag. We're thinking of pressing through the heels. We're lifting those kneecaps. We're drawing the lowest ribs towards the hips. We're drawing that lower belly in and up and we're breathing, inhaling and exhaling. This is a great modification if you have wrist issues and regular plank pose is tough for you or you just, again, different um, working the shoulders just a little bit differently. 
and then release the knees down to the mat and curl the toes walk your hands back fold back again into that child pose maybe again the hands released by the feet or you can keep the arms forward take a few breaths inhaling and exhaling and then very gently coming up to a comfortable seat either cross-legged or seated on your heels whatever feels best for you we'll just close the eyes for a moment and just notice how you feel and then as you're ready gently let the eyes open so that's a few simple moves that we can use to engage our core muscles. That first um, work that we did with our chair twist, again, works on the muscles that wrap around the sides of the body and our transverse abdominus muscle that's below the belly button that wraps around the torso. And then those, both of those plank poses engaging front muscles in the front and the back of the body. So yeah, there's many different ways to work your core. It's not just all sit-ups and crunches. So um, lots of different ways to work and strengthen our core to proper, so properly support our spine. So thanks for joining me today. And I hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the mat. Thanks. Bye-bye.